Hello everyone, this is Joseph with JN Unique Designs. I'm back with you today with another company that uh, reached out to me recently and I wanted to showcase a couple of their products. Um, today I'm going to show you one item of their products which is called a lovely flower or lovely floral layering dies. Uh, this company is Honeybee Stamps and um, we'll be making a tulip today. So give me a quick uh, shout out here and I hope everybody's doing well. This is the die set that comes with the um, for the, from the company. I wanted to show you that. You can see it kind of looks intricate, but I promise you it is a very easy process and it's a lot of fun, quick and easy process too. Let's see, I just dropped a piece here. There we go. I don't know, I didn't want to lose that piece. And then what I already did was I already die cut all of the floral pieces out of mirror cardstock from Tonic. And so I'm gonna punch that out here. And uh, we'll get started here in a little bit just to have some fun. Hopefully everybody's doing well. I'm gonna set this aside and I'll show you how easy um, these lovely layer stamps or layer florals are put together. Excuse me for putting the parts all here. I just wanted to show you all the pieces. So as you can see, I just used simple mirror card stock. And if you look at the florals itself, I don't know if you can see it, it has the impressions already in them. So because of that, um, they layer very nicely. As you can see, this one has that piece and etc. It layers very nicely together. Uh, there's no, um, no hard steps that's required. The only thing that you absolutely need for these projects is some small foam dots, whatever color paper you want to cut, and maybe some ink just to make sure that the pages come out very nice, come out what you want them to come out looking like. So if you excuse me for a one quick second, I need to get a piece of paper cut here. I completely didn't think about needing. So what I normally do is I'll cut a uh, soft finish cardstock from Elizabeth Craft Designs to the appropriate size that I need. And that's going to be three and just about uh, well, just about three and a quarter, three and a quarter by seven and a, seven, uh, yeah, seven and a quarter. So what I do is I'll put this away and we'll have a sheet of paper here. I'm going to take out my Elizabeth Craft Design stencil with the florals here. And as I mentioned in my last video, I just love this glass mat that I just received. So I'm just gonna put this stencil right on top here. I'm gonna line it up and make it look kinda decent or lined up in a way that I kinda like it. So line it up here as such. Yeah, it looks about right. I'm gonna take that vintage photo again and brush some um, ink onto the stencil. And again, with this project and with stenciling like this, I never like to make sure that it's too dark because it gives it character. I'm all about giving character to stuff. So Elizabeth Craft Designs comes with all of these beautiful stencils and they just released a few more stencils. Um, get them right now while they're hot. They're gonna be available at your local craft stores. Gives them a chance to the stores to benefit. So I love that about Elizabeth Craft Designs where they support their local stores before um, the consumer purchase. So that's perfect right there. Not too dark, not too light, just the perfect amount of color that I uh, think. And what I do with my lid, there's the lid. I'll do put that away there. What I'll do next is I will take a piece of that, uh, just a wet wipe that I've used in my previous videos, even it's still a little wet here. So I'll just clean that off just a tad bit just to uh, make sure that it doesn't stick too permanently to my stencil while I'm cleaning on my desk here. And uh, perfect to just wipe off your desk. See how simple that is. Um, and uh, next thing I'll do is I'm gonna start assembling the foul hours. So this is called the Lovely Tulips Flower. And the Lovely Tulips, the thing with Honeybee is that you always start with the largest die. When you start with the largest die, you find the next largest. 
and you layer them on top of each other, they fit automatically. So as you can see here, these angles, these pedals here, they fit all around. This bottom piece fits, they all fit, but they leave pieces exposed so that you can see the design. So what I'll do is I'll take that second piece and I'll take some foam dots, and I only use like three foam dots or so. I don't, you don't need more than that, just to make sure that the whole entire pedal sticks down. I'll peel that, the release sheet off. I'm gonna put this aside so you can see better. And uh, what I'll do is I'll take these and hold them up in the air and kind of fit puzzle piece, put them together. So I can see that this top corner is good, this bottom corner is good, this bottom is good, and this top is good. So what I'll do is I'll squeeze down the rest of the, the that uh, tape. Take the next piece, and every single one of these dies comes with a layering guide. So if you ever are lost, um, just take a look at the layering guide that's uh, on the package itself. Let me show you that layering guide. And see, so it's the lovely layer tulips, and you can follow the instructions and just layer them together. And it's very simple. So what I'll do is I will take this, and I will make sure that this corner here matches, and this bottom matches, this top matches, and then I'll press down the, the lovely dots there the foam dots. Next thing I'll do is I will take a Y17 marker called uh, Golden Yellow and I will color in these pieces. This first one here because I cut it out in white soft finished cardstock. I didn't have a color of yellow or an orange that I liked so I went ahead and I'll just color it this way. Just straight on my mat as you can see. Nothing to worry about. I'll take a Y06, and I'll color this middle stem. Nothing really ordinary there. Take some wipes, and that cleans up just like that. That's how great these mats are. And if you ever are interested in looking into these, please let me know. I will point you in the right directions on where to get them. Um, so I'm gonna take some glue. I'm gonna place this, some glue in the back here, just at the edges and the point. I'll do this. And I'll place it right on top here. As such, I'll take this other piece here, this last one piece that uh, was there. I'll place some glue on there. And then oh, I'll flip it around because this has to go facing upwards. Place that in there. There's my first tulip. That's the open petal tulip, they call it. I'll take the next tulip here, which is this piece, and this is the next piece that goes with it. I hope you're having a great day. I'm just uh, crafting away here. It's been, a good, it's been a good morning, and it's been a great day here in Colorado. So, send my greetings to all of you. So make sure the hardest part is just to line it up. So once all the pieces line up correctly, you can press down the foam dot and they become permanent there. Next piece I'll take is I'm gonna take this large piece here and um, follow the instructions as how they have it laid, labeled. And this one in particular, I'll just place one foam dot. And uh, what I'll do is I'll follow this piece up here. It says layering guide tells me to look at the top corner. So I'm looking at the top corner here and once that matches up, I place that down together. I'll take the last piece here with one foam dot and layering guide tells me to look at the top corner also of that petal. So I'll take this top petal and I will line it up here. So it matches like that. And then I'll take the pedal, the last pedal here, and layering guide says that's the bottom. So I'll take one foam dot, and I will place the top foam dot right on top, and it tells me to match the sides here, the sides together. So I'm going to match the sides together. I'm going to take another foam dot here and take my last piece. <clears throat> And I'm going to layer this on this side. It says to, where does it say it matches? 
Yeah, it says it matches here, but I don't see. Oh, there it is. Right there. So it matches just like that, that petal. And I forgot that piece that goes on the larger flower. So I'll take a foam dot and I'll place the large piece together. Place this down below here. Find the matching spot right there and layer that together. So as you can see, that with the foam dots, it gives it so many different, so many dimensions being this is four layers and you can kind of see the different layers on there. You know, like the tulips, you can see the different layers on there. So what I like to do next is I will take some, like I said, that piece of paper that we used earlier, the Elizabeth Craft Designs with their stencils, and I will go ahead and color it in. But before I do that, I wanna make sure that the leaves have a little bit of distress on there. So I'll take the two separate leaves, the stems can stay as it is. I cut them out of green cardstock that I had in my stock. I don't even know what they're called, but I'm pretty sure I got those from uh, Hobby Lobby or something like that. And I just like to take some Rustic Wilderness and I'll just go over these a little bit just to give it some character as such. that and clean that up because I don't like to have too many stains on my paper. I'll take uh, some glue and I'll put it on the back here. Not too much glue there. And what I'll do is I will lean up, lay this piece about here just to, I'm not even looking at anything, just I'm just laying it down. And then I'll take the stem. So according to the layering guide, the stem should match right about somewhere in here. As you can see how I put it in, the stem right there, it matches perfectly. So what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll put some glue in there. Now that I know where the stem goes, it goes right in the corner here in this divot. And I'll place that like that. There we go. Make sure everything sticks down nicely. I'm gonna take another piece of uh, foam dot just to put the, the upper leaf on there. So this big piece of leaf here, because it has its own engraving piece on there. It has its own, um, uh, what do you call it, emboss lines. Take another piece, place it right in there. Peel off the backing. This card is all about dimensions, so you wanna, the more dimensions you put on there, the better off you are. So I'll do that. I'll give it that dimension. The next thing I'll do is I'm gonna place um, this tulip, the closed petal tulip, right down here as such, maybe right about here. I'll take this leaf. <clears throat> Add some glue to it. And then there's a divot right in the middle there that will hold the rest. I'll paste that in there. Take a foam dot, add it to this corner here, this piece as such. And then I'll add this to the leaf as such. Take the last tulip. This is a closed petal tulip. And you can put, I'm gonna place that right about here, right in the middle there. And then I'll take this piece, add some glue to it. And that goes right in the middle here, underneath, and there we go. So I have three tulip petals, three tulip flowers already attached. Next thing I'll do is I'm gonna take um, a piece that I've had here. Uh, where is it? It's a um, quote that I've put in here. Uh, God's never in a hurry, but God's never late. What I'll do is I will um, put a sentiment there just as such on foam dots. I'll take some foam dots here. My foam dots keeps running away from me today. It's not a good day. Uh, but these cards, as you can see, these uh, floral cards um, can be for Mother's Day, for Memorial Day for someone, a sympathy card. It can be 
a variety of different things and you can use it for so many different things. So these 3D lovely layer dies was uh, given to me courtesy of honeybee stamps and I just thought it'd be fun to um, put something together real quick for you and show you how easy it was and don't be intimidated by paper florals because paper florals always turn out very nice. There you go. And so we have a nice little card there that's ready to go for display and uh, for any purpose. So I hope you have a great day. Thank you for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.